up so it conflicts. Today I'm excited to show you the all new Pandora Box 5S. This here is the latest Pandora Box that allows you to play over 999 games in a single console. Now, this was sent over by GearBest, so if you want your very own, check out their link down below at GearBest.com. Now, this particular unit is literally an arcade machine at your very own home. It takes the big bulkiness of a giant arcade machine and puts it in a nice slim piece that you can connect it to any TV. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what it's all about. All right, so this here's our box, and it's actually a very simple design. It's got a handle right here, so you can just go ahead and take it wherever you want to go. And then on the bottom here, it kind of spells it out for you, so it's made out of a top brand components as well as chipsets. So compared to the previous Pandora boxes, this is actually a lot more refined, so do keep that in mind. Now, it's got a green low-power design, so you can go ahead and just leave it plugged in whenever you want to go. And then uh, it's got hundreds of classic games, as mentioned. And then it has a super high-definition resolution, so you can actually shoot at 1080p and definitely uh, get a nice, high-quality feedback. And then it says it has a fluid game control experience, so it does have a very nice, smooth frame rate, so do keep that in mind. And yeah, that's about it in terms of what's on the box itself. So let's go ahead and open this up. Alright, so on the top here I see a few things. One thing is an instruction manual, so this will kind of give you a basic foundation of how to go ahead and set it up. It's actually literally just a plug and play console. And then over here we have some wires, uh, so we have a few different cables, a USB to USB cable, a PC uh, monitor cable, and then we have an HDMI cable as well. So it does come with everything you need to go ahead and set that up, which is really nice. Uh, over here we have ourselves a power adapter, so literally it's just a plug and play. And then we have a few spare parts in terms of buttons go, so if you ever do pop a button, you can always just plug one, another one right in. Now as we lift this up, this here is, whoa, that is really sick. Alright, so this here is the console itself, and it actually looks really cool. I love the graphic display, uh, you got Ryu over here, and it says Pandora 5. Now you got two sets of controls as mentioned, uh, so you got player one over here and player two over here. Uh, then you have two joysticks, and you can actually hear the sound of it. it. Sounds almost like a real arcade machine, even down to the buttons itself. I can imagine like this does take a lot of abuse, so you can actually just go ahead and like hit it as much as you want. Now, in terms of the, the material itself, this here is a pexy glass, what it looks like. Uh, and then just overlaid a graphic on top of it, and then the bottom is just like aluminum, that is what it's made out of. But it's definitely a high quality grade material, uh, and it can actually take some abuse. Now as we move it around, uh, on the back here you can actually see a few different ports. Uh, so we have ourselves the uh, power button here, so it's an on and off switch. And then we have the uh, power adapter cable that goes right in here. Then we have an HDMI cable that you can plug here directly to a TV. Uh, the sound will actually travel through it as well, but this does have its own uh, speaker in here as well too, which you can control right here. Now you can also connect it via VGA, so you can just go ahead and plug it into like a monitor. And then you can always plug a separate audio as well. And then here's our USB port as well. So actually a pretty cool design, very simple setup. Uh, definitely exciting to see and kind of with that said, let's go ahead and plug this up and try this out. Alright, so we're all set and ready to go. Uh, everything's wired up, plugged in and the TV's on. So we're going to go ahead and turn on the uh, power switch on the back here. And you'll notice that the uh, lights on the actual uh, board itself is lighting up. And it does fluctuate between different colors. So it actually does give it a really cool looking appearance. That's like the startup screen, check that out. Kind of like builds up hype, which is really cool. Alright. So we can just go ahead and uh, start. So Pandora Key 5. Alright, 5S, sorry. Um, so it's loading up. And here we go. Now, the setup itself is really cool, uh, so it does give you like a display of what the game looks like on the right hand side. Do note that the actual uh, console itself does have a speaker built into it, which is fairly loud, for instance, if you're playing on a projector. But the TV also, you know, you can always play it through that as well. Right now I'm having the music going through the TV as well. So you just go ahead and scroll through whatever uh, game you want to play. And then if you hit right, you'll actually toggle between uh, the pages as well. So, you know, you can see that there's a lot of different games in here that uh, probably some that you never really heard of before, but some that you have heard. Uh, more or less, uh, there's actually a lot of different games in here, almost like over a thousand, I believe. So that's, that's actually a lot. Um, so I'm just trying to find something that we like here. So like, you know, you've got like Captain America, and like, you know, show like a, like a glimpse of it there. Uh, oh, here we go, Marvel vs. Capcom. So that's actually a fun game. I'll hit A, and now it's actually loading. Alright. Sweet! Marvel vs. Capcom! 
Um, All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit player one. So I just put a credit in the game, and I'll hit A to start. Oops. So I can pick my character here. So let's just play with the uh, Hulk, and then we'll play with. Um, uh, let's try uh, Captain America. All right, I got Storm. So we'll just do uh, easy mode, turbo mode. All right, let's play. Now, Ready. it's actually Fight. quite ar arcade feel. So you just press the buttons here. And it does take some good amount of durability. Like, you can actually hit it pretty hard. Come on, man. Bring it on. Come on, Hulk. There you go. Yeah, take that. Yeah. Oh, crap. Now, this game brings me back a lot of memories. I just played this game as a little kid. I obviously, a little bit more harder with the. Uh, there you go. It's a little bit more harder with the uh, joystick, but it's actually a lot of fun, especially since you have two controllers and play against two players at the same time. I mean, how cool is that, you know? All right, let's use. There you go. Take that, man. All right, let's use uh, Captain America now. And the uh, the lag time, there's nothing on it. It's actually really smooth, surprisingly. And the quality of it is amazing. I mean, I think this is actually a lot of fun, especially being like a memorable, like a uh, kind of game unit. Something that you played as a kid, I mean, how awesome is that? Anyway, so let's hit pause. Oh no, okay, there we go. And then we can go ahead and exit. Uh, and then you can go ahead and play another game and, you know, just kind of go through all of them. So let's see what else we have in here. So anything that kind of like stands out for me, uh, so let's see what we got. So Donkey Kong 3, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., Double Dragon, that's freaking awesome. I used to love that game as a kid too, Dr. Mario. So obviously not all these games are arcade games, but uh, you know, you do see a lot of them in here. Uh, there's Dragon Ball Z, uh, what else do we have in here? Uh, let's see, man, there's actually a lot of games. Wow, that's actually, uh, Hyper Pac-Man, Jackie Chan. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> Interesting. And then uh, these are like King of Fighters. So, I mean, a lot of different arcade games, especially fighting games. I mean, uh, with the whole sense of, you know, how you battle it out, it does make sense. You have Mario Brothers. Um, now, there's some games in here that, uh, that aren't really arcade games, but you can play them on here, such as uh, Super Mario Brothers. Or um, Sonic the Hedgehog, which is really nice. <clears throat> uh, so you can actually see the different menus there. It's actually pretty cool. Um, let's go towards like the S's. Because uh, there's Mortal Kombat as well. We didn't see Mortal Kombat. Let's go back to Mortal Kombat really quickly. There you go. Let's try that. Obviously, with the Mortal Kombat game, it only has the first one, which really does suck. Um, you know, just because there's so many variations, it's almost like a tease, you know. But uh, it's it's got a very classic approach. Now, I do notice that in certain games there is a bit of a lag time in terms of loading the game, just like how it was right there. So I'll insert a credit by pressing one player and hit start. Kano. Oops, I guess I selected Kano, but okay, whatever, that's fine. All right, looks like I'm facing, I'm facing Sonia. Oh my god, this game is <laughs> so old. Man, I remember this game a long time ago. This game has come a long way from here. It does take a lot of abuse, as you may already notice. No! Man! So yeah, just kick my butt. Alright, anyways, uh, gives you an idea what that is about. So we're back uh, in the main menu again. Uh, let's just kind of going through the games now. So you got Rampage. Uh, that's a fun game too. Ooh, Simpsons. So yeah, you know, gives you a good amount of variety uh, and a lot of uh, replay value, you know. And imagining having this like in an arcade console, how cool is that, you know? Let's pick Homer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right, let's go ahead and beat up some bad guys. 
No! So for instance, if I hit player two, all right, we got Marge, I'm using both controllers now. So, you know, playing with your friends would be a lot of fun right now, you know? So how cool is that? All right, enough of that. Uh, so we got more uh, Capcom games, that's Street Fighter vs. Capcom, Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, this is Sonic 1, again, a tease, not Sonic 2, 3, or any of the other ones, but just Sonic 1, bummer. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go ahead and play Sonic the Hedgehog! Woohoo! Man, this, this game is definitely bring back memories. Oh, he does a spin dash in the first one, I forgot. So yeah, it kind of gives you an idea of how this works out. Definitely a lot of fun uh, being a game uh, of its originality. And you, you can see how fast it's moving. I mean, it's going really quick. And the I would imagine the frames per second is actually really great. But yeah, so that I just beat a level right there. <laughs> uh, so moving on, uh, let's see what else we have here. So you got a lot of different Street Fighters in here. You know, you got all the arcade versions, you know, from Alpha, um, so on and so forth. But, uh, you know, definitely something, uh, one of my favorites is Street Fighter 2, one of the best games out there. Alright. Nice! Alright, so let's just go ahead. Uh, I always like Ken more than Ryu. Alright, E-Honda, let's do it! Hadouken! I mean, why is he fighting in a bathroom anyways? <laughs> I mean, you can always just press all the buttons at once and just kind of go, go, go crazy on it, but... Ah, come on! No, 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 I gotta win this one, I gotta win this one! Alright, 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 all right. let's go back, let's go back again, let's go... Oh, no, 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 no! Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, so moving on, uh, we have, uh, you know, it just keeps going. You know, there's a lot of different games, especially a lot of games that you've probably seen when you were a kid, like Ninja Turtles. I mean, how awesome is that? I remember growing up, this was one of the best games to play. Uh, I used to go over to my friend's house and I would actually watch all my friends play at once just because you know you could play with two controllers and it was actually one of the coolest games at that time. Uh, just to kind of see it and play it again is actually awesome. So let's go ahead and hit one point. Oh, which character? I don't know, I'm gonna have to go with Leo. Hang on, Angel. Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay, we gotta get April out. Let's go. No, 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 no. Yeah, buddy. Woo. Turtle time. And then, you know, just, this is kind of similar to the Simpsons game where, you know, you can have two players at once. So if I have player two, now I got four players on here, so you can play with a friend. So yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Uh, so, kind of gives you an idea what exactly comes with it. Obviously, you know, the amount of games in here is amazing. I mean, there's uh, like WWE, X-Men, uh, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, and the games that you can literally, it just goes on in an endless stream. 
But yeah, hope this kind of gives you an idea of what the Pandora 5 is all about. And now if you guys had any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.